Hello and welcome back. In this session, we will take a look at operators. First, we will take a look at assignment operator, comparison operator, arithmetic operators, and bitwise operators. Uh, so let us start with assignment operator. In the earlier examples, we have seen that we can assign a value to a variable using this equals to operator. So this equals to operator is nothing but your assignment operator. Let me create a new file here called operators. Okay, for example, let num is equal to 10. So here, this equals to acts as a assignment operator. So this value gets assigned to this particular variable by using this particular operator. Okay, so there are lot of compound operators which can be combined with arithmetic operations. Okay, first we will look at arithmetic operators and then we will come back to compound assignment operator. Okay, so let n1 is equal to 10 let n2 is equal to 30 for example then um, console.log so n1 plus n2 so this is addition so this will yield 30 plus 10 which is 40 the same way we can also use minus here so that is n2 minus n1 which will yield 20 and n1 multiplied by n2 which will yield 300 okay then So N2 divided by N1 will yield 3 and then N2 percentile N1 will give us 0. So this is, these are assignment operators, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, which is one slash here, division and modulo operator. Okay, so these are the arithmetic operators. So let me execute this. Okay, first one is giving me 20, 40, 20, 300, 3, and 0. Okay, so this is how we can use arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators. Okay, so now let us look at compound assignment operator for example if I want to combine plus with assignment operator then what I can do is num plus equals to 10 so this is same as num equals to num plus 10 so this is nothing but compound assignment operator along with plus we have used assignment operator so this will become num is equal to num plus 10 so if i do console.log here okay 
then this should give us the result as 20 because num is assigned to 10 10 plus 10 is 20 so the same way this compound assignment this compound assignment operator can be used with all of these plus minus multiply division and module operator so instead of plus you can replace it with any of these operators okay so let me run this compound assignment operators okay so the last one gave us 20 here so this will just give us the remainder so 30 divided by 10 and the remainder is 0 okay so we have seen assignment operator compound assignment operator and arithmetic operators now so comparison operator i have discussed in the earlier video okay so for example console.log and n1 double equals num okay and console.log n1 double equals 10 okay so the same thing i will do it with triple equals okay so let us execute this so i was expecting this to be true and this also to be true and this also to be true and this as false okay but what we got is false true false and false so only this is correct and this is correct however the other two are not right let us see why okay so num is also of type number and n1 is also of type n1 is also of type number both are number but here the type doesn't matter however the value of num is 10 and n1 is also 10 ah, okay so here what we are doing is we are incrementing the value of number by 10 now the number contains 20 so that is the reason this is giving us false and this is giving us false okay sometimes these are tricky to find out okay so let me comment this out and try it again so whenever we use double equals it doesn't look for the data type however it looks at the value but here whenever we look at n1 triple equals to num then it looks for data type so the data types are also same here that is why we should get true here however the, the however the data type in the fourth example is different we should be getting false here so this is a string and this is a number okay so let me execute this again okay so now we got the correct value it was because of this now the number contained 20 rather than 10 so once i comment this out now the number is same as n1 okay so this is how we can use equals equals and double equals so the same way console.log okay so here n2 is greater than n1 okay n1 greater than n2 so this should give us false console.log again n1 is greater than or equals to num so this should be giving us true 
okay so let us save this and rerun the same way we can also make use of greater than or equal to less than or equal to and not equals to as well okay so all others maybe you can try it out and see okay so let us look at bitwise operator now okay bitwise and so console dot log okay n1 ampersand which is single ampersand this is bitwise operator and num okay console dot log n1 or num and again console dot log n1 xr num and console dot log and the last one is not which is tilde n1 so this is operating on one operator so this is operating on one operator so let us execute this and see okay so 10 10 0 and 11 so n1 is 10 and num is also 10 so this will be converted into binary and uh, this will also be converted into binary and then it is performing this operation and operation or or operation so far we have seen assignment operator comparison operator arithmetic operators and bitwise operators in the next session we will see logical operators ternary operator comma operator and unary operators thanks for watching